Greetings, sir and sir, and welcome back to Plague Inc. Evolved with me, Lathrix. As you can see, we're going to be doing more of the simian flu. Because this time we've got our first gene, cortisol sensitivity, reduces research from gen. Cis experiments on apes. Brilliant. That's all we've got so far. Really need to do some casual games, do a rush of casual games, and get these all unlocked. So I'll do that after this video, but today... We're going to actually be trying it on Brutal, because I enjoyed the last one so damn much, I'm going to go completely back into it. Call it the same as always, just for the theme of the of the Planet of the Apes, and we're going to be starting, of course, in Central Africa. Because that's freaking amazing for the apes. And once again, we're going to be trying to do what we did last time, but maybe a little bit better. We're going to be going very, very heavy into the apes early on, and then kind of exploding into evil ape kind later on. Because this time, I've came up with an idea. Because apes can spread to other apes when they move past, I'm thinking make a colony and then simply move them across the world. Actually, no, I'll probably make a colony, I'll probably spread apes from like another country nearby once it's spread at least once, and then that should speed up the whole process. That's at least my idea. My ideas very rarely come to um, fr fr yeah, very rarely come to fruition, so let's see if it actually works. Let's go let's, let's go to our lovely ape camp. We are watching you apes of Central Africa. Oh, look at that! It's 3D! The um, labs. Very cool. And also, I've just instantly developed headaches. Which is very, very annoying, but I'm going to be getting camps first. I'll devolve that in a second. Last time, we did get caught a little bit earlier than I wanted to, and that's purely because of the random symptom mutations. Sadly, you can't um, give the gene to decrease random mutations, because that's taken up by one of the un new unique ones. There we go. Got our first camp. And we're going to devolve headaches as soon as possible. Sadly, the Symbion flu is a virus, so all the lovely, ev all the lovely random mutations that come with that are, of course, right there. Air filters, which are awesome. Honest. That doesn't really matter to us anyway. We won't be spreading, so don't really, no, no real concern there. Next, we'll get cognitive shift, which is seven DNA, and that will give us more DNA per colony, which would just be absolutely amazing for us. <laughs> Swine flu does not come from eating pork. No, it comes from other people who aren't considerate. I am one of the proud people who got swine flu in the UK, which is wonderful, by the way. That was a very fun week, I tell you. You know if I'm seeming flu existed, I'll be the first one to get it, don't you? <laughs> in the human, the human variety. I'll get it, like, instantly. Viruses seem to, ha seem to have, like, a homing beacon on me. It's ridiculous. Oh, oh, the flu's going around. Too bad, you're infected. Devolve you. Goodbye, photophobia. I've just realised because we are in Brutal, there's a good chance devolving will cost more each time, which is a tiny bit of a concern. I may want to think about that. Really wish we really wish we could use the creationist um, gene, because that stops the random mutations in the tracks quite early on. Come on, monkeys, spread already. You know you want to. You can't plonk down another camp until you do. Transmission, abilities, how much does that cost me? Nine, okay. So we need to save up at least nine DNA from the movement ability, then we can go spreading across the world. Lovely. But first I do want the education upgrade, because more DNA early on would be brilliant. And it means we'll have less trouble spreading later. Actually, now I'm thinking about it, why don't we just increase our 8, eight to 8 transmission with excretion? Lovely, there we go. Our apes should be able to spread a lot faster now. Once again, very sorry for being quiet, um, because I haven't apologised in this one. In the last video, I told you everyone was asleep, that is still the case. It's still the same day recordings on the day it's been released. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty damn quiet, and because of that, I'm struggling to talk, to be honest. Okay, let's do the blood gift, and then we'll go ahead and devolve that if we can. Yes, it is definitely increasing one DNA each time, but thanks to these amazing camps, and last time, as you saw, we had so much DNA to spare at the end, it doesn't really matter too much if it does. Just the start's a bit slow, that's all. Aha, good, there's people in the, there's people. They're not people, they're apes. There are apes in East Africa now. Which is wonderful. Okay, let's go ahead and get the organised travel, and as soon as East Africa is completely infected, it's in every country on the way. Although it is very slow over bodies of water. There we go, look at this infected. That's going to speed up things a lot, got to be said. Uh, rapidly. No, I don't need really to speed it up, just... There you go. And now we need to start hiding our apes soon. <clears throat> hiding our apes soon. It's also very hot today, so I can't speak because I'm very thirsty all the damn time. 
Lovely. China's affected Kazakhstan. Well, like, like everywhere. That was just brilliant. Next, I'll fling it from Russia and send it over to the US. Okay, we need to get rid of that. Seven DNA though. Okay, I have to wait. We have to wait a while. Then we can affect it. That's a lot of places infected very early on, which is very nice. We'll put down a new camp in West Africa and then in East Africa. Okay, let's send our apes on their merry way over to... Where are we getting the most? I'll say there. To Argentina, because we'll get all of Europe on the way. Let's see if I can actually make it over the sea, because I don't actually have seafaring, I've just realised. Probably not the best idea to test this out like this. Probably not. Okay. Primal awareness, so we're a little bit more hidden from the humans. The foul little things. Then tiny muscles and small heads. Okay, East Africa. The row of colonies. I call it the King's Road. Wait, isn't that a thing? Yes, I think yes, that is. Oh god. I don't think I need to tell you where that reference comes from. Didn't even think about it. Okay. Still hiding and really, really, really hiding. Combat expertise. That is simply can't see us now. On the episode we got everywhere but Spain. How do we dodge Spain? On the episode we did get Morocco though, so that's an un un unintended ben benefit. Okay, a lot of places infected. We could start the humans spread, just to make sure we don't get any more of those. Okay, yeah. Let's go with Fomites, because Fomites seem root. No, let's save it for water. Saving it for water probably the best, even if we are in... Actually, where are the humans? The humans are in most of African countries. And we do need to devolve that. Uh, coughing? Now let's leave coughing and get air level 1. It also does that, yeah, I was about to say. It will also take away that stupid air filter. Wow, they spread through the ocean very, very slowly. That's poor apes. Like, they can't even make rafts and I'm sending them over the sodding ocean. I'm not a very nice person. Most places are infected, though. Apes, with apes at least. Okay. Let's send some apes from India over to New Zealand, and that should get Australia and Indonesia on the way. And then at the same time, we'll send people from South Africa to the Philippines. Yes, because that way we'll definitely get Madagascar. Madagascar. However you pronounce it. We're spreading in humans. No, we're not. Spread quicker. We're water. There we go. Just got Brazil. We always look like um, spreading naturally, so we're not completely reliant on these monkeys' travels. But it is very, very good, and this should get the UK and Iceland and Greenland. Then, if I might want some Argentina travelling to the Caribbean, to Caribbean? No, into Canada. Should I get all that as well? Okay, China or India? Um, let's put it in China to start. Actually, I have it in India. Ta-da! Okay, now we start to work on resistances. We're not very far, are we? Let's uh, get drug, and then we'll get cold level two when we can. It's gonna cost a little bit. They haven't set up a new lab, have they? I haven't been completely oblivious. No. Okay, good. Apes, apes everywhere. Oh, okay, there's actually quite a few in, in the sedan. Africa is just like our little hub of control, which is wonderful. Look <laughs> how slow they travel through the ocean. I'm so sorry, guys. You're doing your job so well, though. Um, transmission increase? Yeah, then we'll get resistances. Oh, there we go. Lovely. You get a lot of DNA in this game type, I've got to say. So Cold Level 2 is also now developed, so when we eventually get up here, it'll be brilliant. Of course, like I say, I'm going to suddenly explode when the apes actually become infectious. Which is not far away. I just wanted to travel by itself and get me some early DNA eggs on board. Not bored, I'm just... It's taking too long. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, yeah, next. We'll have to start doing it now. Uh, what countries haven't got it? I'm fairly certain the Caribbean doesn't. Okay, 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 okay. stop blinding me. Now. Uh, Central America, Colombia, Morocco, West Africa. Um, Colombians, go to Caribbean. Okay, we now begin a infection. And we're going to go into diarrhea again. So that is wonder oh my god, look at that. Oh, that's the best thing in the world. Look at that, man. Every single ape suddenly becomes infectious overnight, and every human in, in the world becomes infected. Glorious. Where is infected? New Guinea. Okay. 
Let's wait until everywhere else nearby. Okay, Indonesians, go to New Guinea. We need to affect them now. Okay, um, well, that's not going to last long for humans. Definitely need to spread faster, though, still. Um, let's go into Insect 1 and 2. And let's spread faster through ripes. Because why not? Okay, we can go to the human transfer now. So where is an infected? Let's wait until these start of all stop. Oh, where is the... I, I should have read that. Where is the lab? I'm blind. Is that it? No, it's a port. There's two ports then. Didn't know it had two ports. I can't see the lab. I can't see the lab. I know you're all screaming at me because I'm sure you can see it like right there and I can't. But I can't actually see it right now. Also need to upgrade that so I can fight back. Okay, let's go to gastric there and dysentery. Okay, now who isn't affected? No one. Awesome. It's all about spreading them in the countries. Oh, oh, I see it's in China. Kill him. And it's in West Africa. No, why would you do this? Okay, there you are in Italy. Oh my god, I'm blind. Awesome. I'm sure we can actually fight back completely. And drug level 2 is now go. I can't believe I didn't get that earlier. That's stupid of me. And now we need to start with the upgrades so we all kind of um, cling together. Because otherwise it's going to be really difficult to handle. Okay, apes, apes, apes. Was that just the neural thing? Okay, so they're a little bit smarter, which is a bit of a concern, but oh well. Fever is go. And let's go ahead and get... Uh, do we need heat resistance at all? Nah. Pathfinders, there we go. We're going to completely collect. And yes, I do see the lab there. Chinese, you can go to Russia. Is on vomiting? Uh, what, what shock? Hemorrhagic shock? Oh dear. That's very, very lethal. Extreme bar aerosol, fomites. Australia brings to break down already, that's quick. Still every country infected, yes, good. Oh, I see a lab. In fact, I see two. There's actually no apes left in around, god damn it. Must let them die. This is all about micromanagement, I'm not very good at it yet. I will practice and I'll get so much better. I'm not going to attempt at um, Mega Brutal yet. Oh, very close to infecting everyone in the world. When we can, okay, let's get so we're ready to do total brain death as soon as possible. Okay, I'll see you. Goodbye. There are no healthy people left in the world, which means total brain death is now a thing. Goodbye, humans. Oh, God, please move. Oh, no, not into the firing line. Do we just split our travel? We could have just split our travel. No, we didn't. Okay. Oh, they're not dying. They're moving. Oh, of course they're all moving anyway. So that wasn't actually a concern at all. They're moving to the colonies. As you can see. Okay. How many apes died so far? Let's go to apes. Um, not many. Not infected? Doesn't that mean dead? <laughs> well, that's a bit of a mistake. There it goes unintelligent, intelligent, infected. Which clearly just means dead. I just said then, didn't it? Came up nothing. Oh well. Ooh, ooh. Oh god, I wasn't even watching my cure. Oh my god. Well, turns out I need to focus a lot more. Feel free to scream at your computer screens right now. Anyone else? Well, destroying it. Okay, let's um, do some reshuffles because we can. Need one more dinner. Come on, someone, give me a dinner. Thank you. There we go. Cures. Gone. And the humans are down to their last two million, so there's not exactly much fight left in them. Thank you and thank you. Let's see if we can get some more symptoms, because that'll also, of course, decrease the cure by a tiny bit. Yep, by 1% it went up, by 1%, down 1%. Yay, we've done five stars! Planet of the Apes, well done me. Well, there you go. Proof that the cure doesn't matter in the slightest, and neither does time. It's all about how many apes are left at the end. Well, lessons learned.
spread out, hide from humans, have the most fun in the world when the whole world becomes a giant infection bubble. Thank you for watching Sound Shreds, very sorry for how quiet I've been, and hopefully you'll join me next time. If you've liked, leave a like, if you've loved, leave a sub, and if you just want to leave a comment, leave a comment, it all helps the channel, and helps me of course. It means a lot to me, thank you and goodbye.